As of right now, we're well in the earnings season. About 90% of the companies are beating on the top line, on earnings, I'm sorry. Over 70% are beating on the top line, and yet 0.2% increase in the share value of those stocks. And that's in the first day. In the second day, it goes down to 0.1%. To Mark's point, they're getting no credit for it. Sure. I think you have a problem of we've had a lot of multiple expansion over the last several years. And so stocks that are beating are doing okay. Consumer staples, where they're struggling a little bit, are getting pitched and their multiples are compressing. And so we actually are finding opportunities where the valuations are coming down. But I think the overall market is struggling a lot with the fact that um, good earnings and a good economy may mean higher rates, and with the tenure at 3%, that's causing people to struggle. Bad earnings, and people are pitching the stocks, and so that's where we sit. I want to pick up on what you were saying. You said that you were actually finding some value uh, in consumer staples right now, and I'm wondering, you know, how much does that fly in the face of the Amazon effect, right? Some people are saying, well, consumer staples have suffered as Amazon compresses their margins. Is that what's going on here? Is there a different story, and where are you finding value? Sure. So. Every sector has companies that are unique, and we're always looking for individual opportunities and how they can stand out. And if you look at companies like Coca-Cola, they actually reported pretty solid numbers, but they're in this consumer staples category, so people didn't care. And so Coke is making good progress. They don't have a big Amazon effect. They're a big global distributor. And so you're buying Coke? Uh, we own Coke, and we like Coke a lot. So, so, Mark, why isn't a safety paying off better right now? Because we've got a lot of uncertainty, geopolitical uncertainty. We've got oh. trade issues. Every time we place you look, <laughs> oh, we've got yeah. a lot of uncertainty. You'd think that that would be a flight to safety when oh, it comes yeah, to equities. It, it, and it actually should. I mean, David, it's a good point. But I, I, think, I think there's a the, – the thing that we're looking at and seeing at Highland is there's a lot of this issue about flow. Flow is really dominating markets just across the board. And the lack of flow when you're in these quiet periods in the stock market, who's the net buyer of equities? Who has been the net buyer of equities? It's companies. Companies have been the net buyer of their stocks. We're in the quiet period in here, right? So all of all that we've been seeing has been in these quiet periods. So we'll see what happens when the quiet periods are over. Maybe maybe the stocks start to react a bit better after that. But I'm look, again, I think that, that defense is the right way to go overall. I think I think defense really wins championships in this kind of market. Yeah. But but we'll see. We'll, we'll it, it, the flow is really the focus for us. I think flow will 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 dominate fundamentals. 